Alrighty guys, so now that you've got well acquainted with the unit, this unit I'm going to go ahead and bleach it a little bit. Now they did do a little bleaching job to this, but I felt like it wasn't bleached enough for me. So I did go ahead and mix up some bleaching powder with some 40 volume developer, and I'm just going to go ahead and bleach the knots. I'm only doing the front part of this one, even though this is a full lace wig, I am only doing the front part because I just plan to wear this just, you know, down with the side part. So I do like this unit guys. Overall, it's a medium to average cap size and it fits my head to the T full lace wig the wig is only 150% density but it is super thick as you guys can see Alrighty guys, so right now I'm going to go in and just cut the lace. Like I say to you guys, take your time with this because once you cut the lace off, it's not going to regenerate, it's not going to come back. So I just take my time just going along the hairline, just making sure that I don't snag any of the hairs. I did go ahead and do baby hairs on the cap on the mannequin head prior to um, actually installing this wig. Sometimes I like to do that just to get the baby hairs formed. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of this one, just trying to make it perfect. Um, I like to set the baby Baby hairs for curly wigs overnight on the mannequin head just because it just gives you the formation so that's what I did for this unit and even after I cut the lace off you'll still see the formation of the baby hairs so it's nice to be able to set it before you wear the wig just to have like a permanent flow of baby hairs if you know what I mean So for those that are a tad bit curious on what I'm doing right now, I'm just basically measuring the perimeter so therefore I don't get a messy front with the glue. Sometimes when you just kind of sporadically go through putting glue on your forehead, it can get kind of messy, especially with the makeup. So I'm just making sure that it's perfect. I am using the bolt hold. Uh, you guys asked me how long this product lasts. It lasts me about three to four days. Um, it's something that's pretty good. If you're someone that's heavily sweaty, they have an active version of this one that's pretty good as well. So you can go ahead and get that. So I'm just going to do about two to three layers on and that's about it and you guys will see how this turns out all the products that I used for this hair review today will be left down below so I hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget guys to subscribe to my channel if you're watching and you're new and don't forget guys to thumbs this video up
look of this unit right here, guys. So this unit was sent to me from divaswigs.com. The SKU number on this unit is the FL002. So this unit, guys, is 150% density. It is 22 inches long. Now the cap color on this one is a medium brown cap color, and it is an average cap size. Now I just want to start off by saying, guys, the unit is a full lace wig. I showed you guys the inner cap. So you can part this just about anywhere and do kind of like up styles and stuff like that. Now it is 150% density. I don't know if these companies are just doing it right now, but now they're going back to 150% density. And 150% density is actually pretty thick. So this is a curly unit. Um, I did actually install this a little earlier in the day, so it's about like five or six hours later. So the hair obviously is a little bit buffer and big. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like once it's fully dry and once it takes like, you know, a little bit of wind because I went out on the balcony or just takes like regular day. Um, the hair is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I will turn around and show you guys the back. The curl pattern on this one is a really nice curl pattern. You guys can see it's curly all the way through. Now, when I did co-wash this unit, because I did go ahead and bleach the knots just a little bit extra than what they did because I felt like it was all the way there. So when I did co-wash this hair, I did go ahead and put my Cantu leave-in conditioner, the um, leave-in conditioner in. I don't know why I was about to say a different one. They do have a curling one that someone just mentioned that they want me to review. So I will actually review that one for you. But I did use the leave-in conditioner and it kind of, I'm telling you guys, that is like the best product to use on curly hair. All of my curly units, I co-wash them and then put a little bit of the product in there and let it set overnight and you guys can see how just beautiful the curls are like I said for 150% density so this unit is actually a pretty thick unit very nice you guys can see the hairline I did like a little baby hair magic right here didn't go too crazy but all in all I think that this unit is fabulous guys I think for 22 inches I feel like it's not really 22 inches I feel like it's more like an 18 or 20 inch but I'll go with the 22 inch just because I feel like because of here the curls are just so tight if the curls were a little bit loose then it would be a 22 inch if you know what I mean so guys I will leave all the information down below per usual if you're interested in purchasing this unit from divaswigs.com but do not forget guys to thumbs up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and i will catch you guys in a later one bye